Understanding Civil Immunity, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an important legal term, civil immunity. This concept is widely used in law and understanding it can help you in various contexts, especially if you're interested in legal topics or need to use English in a professional setting. Let's dive in. Civil immunity refers to a legal protection that shields individuals or entities from being sued in a civil court. In simpler terms, it means that a person or organization cannot be held legally responsible for certain actions or decisions in a lawsuit. This immunity is often granted to certain groups, like government officials or medical practitioners, to allow them to perform their duties without the fear of constant legal challenges. To better understand civil immunity, let's look at some examples. Government officials. Often, lawmakers and judges have civil immunity to protect them from lawsuits related to their official duties. This means they can't be sued for decisions they make while performing their job. Medical professionals. In some cases, doctors and nurses might have civil immunity for actions taken in good faith during emergencies. This is to ensure that they can provide urgent care without the fear of being sued. It's important to differentiate between civil and criminal immunity. Civil immunity deals with lawsuits and damages in civil court, whereas criminal immunity protects an individual from being prosecuted in a criminal case. For instance, a witness who testifies in court might be granted criminal immunity for their testimony but this does not prevent civil lawsuits. Civil immunity is not absolute. There are situations where this protection can be waived, especially in cases of gross negligence or intentional misconduct. For example, a doctor who deliberately harms a patient cannot claim civil immunity as a defense. Understanding the concept of civil immunity is crucial, especially when dealing with legal matters in English. We hope this video has shed light on what civil immunity means and how it functions in the legal system. Remember, this is just a basic overview, and legal nuances can vary by jurisdiction. Thanks for watching, and we hope this has been informative.